Hi, everybody. Um, how are you today? I am ready to talk to you about um, some summer things, such as bikinis when you're over 60. And I have another um, great thing to tell you about this lacy wig. First of all, let me start off by telling you about this wig. This is the Lacey wig from Envy Wigs. I had ordered this one a while ago. I was very, very happy with it. I'm amazed because it isn't a lace front wig. The color is toasted sesame. Um, it's just an all around really cute summer wig. Anyway. I wore this wig to the beach yesterday. We spent the day, um, we drove from Philly down to Stone Harbor, New Jersey. It's our day trip of choice during the summer. And um, I wore this wig. Um, the reason that um, I wore this wig is because my bio hair is just now too sparse to make an attempt to wear alone. So I figured this isn't one of my lace front wigs. This is um, an inexpensive wig, but it's, it's lightweight. So no big deal. And it is the second time that I wore this to the beach. The first time that I wore it, I stayed away from the ocean and really didn't get it wet. But Yesterday was a different story. I took a beach chair and I sat down at the water's edge and it was a little bit wavy yesterday. The Atlantic was an ocean, okay? So I had a low slung beach chair. I was enjoying my book, 32 Yokes. It's about Eric Repair um, growing up in France. And it, it, you know what? It was a great read. I was totally immersed in the book. Anyway, while I was immersed in this book, luckily I had the book up here because a huge wave came. The book surprisingly didn't get wet, but my wig got soaked, okay? The wig got soaked. I was a little concerned because I was like, oh my God, you know, how is this wig going to dry? I can't believe that it got so wet. Anyway, because the chair was so low to the ground, I got quite a bit of sand in the bottom of my bathing suit. So I decided to go into the water about like knee length and kind of like bend over and clean the bottom of my bathing suit. Boom, another, another wave came over and this time really soaked my wig. So what happened in the end was, this is how the wig dried. This wig is now full of dried salt water. It is a day later. I have to wash it simply because I wanna wash the salt water out of it and get it back to a clean look. But can you believe it? This is how this wig dried. It didn't get ruined. I mean, look. It, as a matter of fact, I think it looks better that it was full of all salt water. And let me tell you something, my bio hair would never dry like this. So anyway, what I wanted to, um, touch base on was that I did order another one of these lacy wigs. And the color, even though this is toasted sesame, the color that I ordered is amaretto and cream, or in some descriptions, it's just amaretto cream. It's a darker brown base, and it's got some beautifully cream colored, like blondish highlights. The color is really gorgeous. The cap is your basic cap. We have the straps that are adjustable. We've got another layer in the back of 
we've got these little hairs in the back. So it kind of makes the back stick out a little bit more fuller. You know, it's basic. There's nothing fancy about this. This is not a lace front. And that's what I do believe keeps this rather affordable. So anyway, I'm going to take my salt water drenched and dried wig off. And I'm going to put the amaretto cream wig on. If you notice, I have a slight tan. That's because I use sunscreen. And even though the sunscreen really hurts my eyes, I would much rather have my eyes sing than have sun poisoning. Trust me on that one. Okay, so let's put this baby on. Now, one thing about Envy, I'm going to tell you right now, their caps are very, very snug. Um, if you have a larger head like me, it's going to take some manipulation to get the wig cap to look halfway decent or to get a better fit. That's why I'm glad that things stretch out. So anyway, let me get the ear. You know, it would help if I if I took my glasses off. Let me adjust these ear straps. And here is the same wig in amaretto and cream. Now, I haven't really done any manipulation on this because there's really nothing to do. But what I do like to do is kind of just like mess it up a little. And that's it. Let me just kind of like, that's it. So this is Lacey in Amaretto Cream. Let me show you the sides. Okay, this is my right side. So I guess it'll be your left side. This is my left side. There you go. And I will show you the back. Can you see? That's the back. I have to tell you, for a, a wig that is not a lace front, this is really, oh, this is really great. Um, what I would do, since this is darker, I would actually pull some of my bio hair out to kind of blend in with this front hairline over here. But then again, I put this on just bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Um, I can't say enough. Like, this is such a great beach wig. But I also want to show you something else. I want to show you how somebody over 60 still manages to go to the beach wearing a bikini. Hold on. This is a fashion show you're not going to forget. Okay. This is one of my bikinis. Now, notice how my stomach is a little bit paler than the rest of my body. That's because... I was reading and the book was blocking the sun. But another thing that I wanna show you is I have a belly and I really don't care because when I'm at the beach, I wanna be comfortable. Now, here's from the back, the back looks fine. My bottom is covered. Just because you're wearing a bikini doesn't mean that you have to have your butt hanging out, okay? From the side, I'm not a hard belly. Three kids came out of this belly. One, a 10 pounder. So overall, it's not that bad. And I don't think that anybody should feel that because of their age, or because of any flaws in their bodies, that they shouldn't be able to wear a two-piece or whatever kind of bathing suit that they want. 
It's your body. You wear exactly what you want. So that's it for today. I am going to be reviewing um, a couple of more wigs, hopefully by next weekend. I think that you are going to be very pleased with these new wigs that are coming out. So that's it. This was a short video about Lacey that got wet at the beach. Lacey that hasn't been at the beach yet two different colors and um that's it have a great sunday i am going off to read a book right now on my deck and get a little bit more sun but i did use sunscreen so that's it see you later hey if you like this give it a thumbs up and um subscribe and if you don't like it um, subscribe before you give it a thumbs down and subscribe if you want to, um, body shame me, because if you want to body shame me, I only think it's fair that you subscribe first. So that's about it. Have a great day. See you later. Have a great summer. Have a great summer weekend. Happy 4th of July. Bye-bye.